We've seen how to calculate the number average molecular weight for combination, termination, and free radical polymerization. Now let's see how we can calculate the weight average molecular weight. So again, our starting point is the definition of the weight average molecular weight. So remember that that's the sum of the NIMI squared over the sum of the NIMI. And notice that this quantity, the sum of the NIMI, the number of molecules that have a particular molecular weight times that molecular weight. We have moles times grams per mole. That has units of grams. So this is actually representative of the total weight of polymer in the sample. So I can take that constant into the summation in the numerator and further uh, break this down. So this NIMI, that's the weight of the fraction of polymers that have molecular weight I, the total weight of that fraction. And MI, again, is the molecular weight of an imer. So it's I, the number of monomers times the monomer molecular weight. And so notice that this weight of the fraction of polymers that have length I relative to the total weight of polymer is actually the weight fraction, which I'm denoting as WI star. So the weight fraction of I times I times the monomer molecular weight. So I can simplify then the expression for the weight average molecular weight as follows. Let's take a closer look at this equation for the uh, weight average molecular weight. And in particular, this term that expresses the weight fraction of polymers that have a length i. That's going to be important for us to determine. So we can break this out into several terms. Remember, this is NIMI. That's the weight total weight of polymer that has length i in our sample divided by the total weight. So the molecular weight of polymers of length i is just i, the length of the polymer times the monomer molecular weight. So that's no problem. The total weight of polymer. Now we can express that in terms of the product of the total number of polymerized monomers times the monomer molecular weight. Because remember here, we don't care about how these monomers are distributed among polymers. The total weight is just related to the number of monomers that have been polymerized. And so that's basically what we're expressing here. So this term n naught is the total number of polymerized monomers. Now let's take a look at this term ni. So remember ni represents the number of chains that have length i. So we can define a probability that a dead chain has a length i. We can obtain this from our population by noticing that this is going to be equal to the ratio of the number of dead chains that have length i over the total number of dead chains. So that's what I'm writing here, ni over n total. Also remember that we derived an expression for this probability of a chain being an imer in terms of this parameter beta. So if we set these two representations of this probability equal, then we can solve for ni in terms of the total number of dead chains times these other terms. So now we need to find an expression for the total number of dead chains in our system. 